Welcome back to the Reyes Podcast. Today's topic is going to be what makes a good quinceañera. Well, welcome back, guys. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. Good. Saturday. <laughs> Jasmine looks a little nervous. <laughs> I just feel awkward. Like, <laughs> the edge is kind of weird to sit on. You know, it's all part of the production. But you know, one question that I always get asked in social media mm -hmm. is, what makes a good quinceañera? So I want to ask both of you guys, in your opinion and the experiences, you know, we've been in the industry for a few years. Mm -hmm. What makes a good quinceañera? Well, I think there's a lot of factors that come under what makes a good quinceanera. Um, some, well, I think one of the more uh, important things in a quinceanera is the food. Oh, yeah, uh, la comida, food. That's what makes food. a good quinceanera because we've been to a couple, well, more, mostly in California where they have the uh, halls yeah. that have the food already. And then sometimes that pasta and then what else is it? Like chicken, like a man? salad. A yeah. salad. It's, you know, I don't mind the salad and stuff like that. I think what it is, el sabor latino. Yeah, it's like. We, we need that. Yeah, like a good birria or even um, the good chicken and rice is good, you know. That we have had that mm -hmm. before. I don't mind the pasta neither. We've been to some venues where they do give pasta, pero está como muy seca. Yeah, o como recalentado. Recalentado, yeah. yeah. And that could break your quinceañera. Like yeah. people will be like. Oh, no. Nope, we, we have Osito in the background. He's our security. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I think the, the food. food is important. Um, yeah, yeah, because uh, I think something else would be also, um, like, the guests that you invite, you know, um, make, making sure that que hagan ambiente también. Sí, porque si están todos amargados. Yeah, like, todos están sentados, and then, like, you got, like, two people only on yeah. the dance floor. I feel like that's just kind of awkward. Yeah, because we've been to a lot of events where, like, um, especially with the choreography, yeah. the, the dance starts mm -hmm. after, and everyone's just, like, awkwardly looking at each other, like, okay. Oh, my God, I feel like we're back in middle school, you know, that era. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> Everyone's just staring at you. Then. Everybody's, like, against the wall, and, like, yeah. you only have, like, the teachers and the TAs dancing, so you only have, like, the tia and the quinceañera dancing, and it's so awkward. But, you know, I think going back before I, I we move on, move into the the, the the next part of the subject you know mm -hmm. um about the food you know también da el, el, el olor mm -hmm. when you walk in and you're like, like oh that smells Ooh, that's, gonna be, that's gonna be a good beer yeah we went to places where the quality of like the things that they have it's not the greatest you know it's very humble yeah. pero la comida you guys remember we, ha we, we had a quinceañera yeah. where yeah, it was very it, yeah it was at a church very very small, small intimate yeah. um very basic decor yeah. pero la comida yeah, was oh really good. my that, that was a birria. god it was a birria yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pero fíjate la birria Estaba buena y no tenía ni cilantro ni cebolla. I know. Oh, and it yeah. still tasted really yeah. well. Did they even have tortillas? Yeah, they, they did. They did have yeah. tortillas. They did have tortillas, pero la birria. Uy, yeah, el olor. You yeah. walk in and you're like, it's going to be a lit party. <laughs> yeah. Pero también, como estabas diciendo tú, I think it's very important, like, your guest. Yeah, you know, guest. y también depende de tu familia, to be yeah. honest. Some people, some people are Some calm. people know, know yeah. their, their guests and know what to expect. Yeah, I don't, I don't no. think everybody is, is as crazy as we are. <laughs> no, I think they're son más, un poquito más relajados. Yeah. But, you know, that ties into also the quinceañera. Yeah, oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. See, seeing how she... Um, yeah, um, how she interacts with her with uh, the guests. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't want a quinceanera that's all serious and. No, toda mula parece que está enojada. <laughs> yeah, parece que te va a gritar or something like that. Either stuff. Um, oh, your mic was bleak. You don't know why, it's, but you. Oh, know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, well. Anyways, hopefully yeah, it's like, on. <laughs> um, but yeah, like you said, um, definitely like alguien que una you know sonriente, not angry. We've had a couple of them that like. They just sit sit down with their core and then mm -hmm. they look like they don't even want to be there. Uh, yeah, you know, and I think sometimes it could be, that, you know, in our fo first podcast, make sure, guys, go watch that one, where we discuss about does the quinceañera even want a quinceañera? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like, because if she's being forced and it's like something that she d does not want and she does not like the attention, she's maybe that's being projected. It. So she's yeah. not going to enjoy it. You she's know, if that's the that. case, you know, que los parents hagan un, 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 pa un party yeah it's a little party not not waste all that money and then yeah because you can tell like, we've been to a couple of events where the like, can did not want to be there like literally just that she does the bottles and she's nowhere to be found yeah <laughs> and then true true so i i think that has a lot to you know like 
if you have a really good quinceañera que está toda ahí lista mm. para, you bailar. know, bailar, hacer el ambiente, mm. you know, entra con un zapateado, una cumbia, mm. whatever the case is. Pero if, like, está haciendo el ambiente, like, people are going to follow. Um, Jasmine, what do you think makes a good quinceañera? For me, well, like Ruben said, the guest, um, you just want to make sure, like, know your party, know, yeah. know who you're going to invite. Yeah. That that's like the main thing. Um, I also think like the DJ. DJ oh yeah, because he yeah. sets yeah. the yep. mood yep. for the yep. party. Yep. 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 He's the yep. one that sets the mood. Have uh, like they have their production, their show. Yeah, some of them have really nice like us. Uh, uh, people use the sparkles now sparkles the, the fog, fog for the like the lighting. walls mm -hmm. the lighting yeah, people don't um, know that um sometimes the djs have these lights that project against the wall mm -hmm. like we were uh, talking about uh what's his name oscar oh yeah shout out oscar um he has a, a thing where he projects to yep. the walls and he says oh people sometimes don't even have to do that much decor he's like Cause I have this lighting package, and it makes the salon look even it look even nicer. And especially when you're dancing, it just makes the you know makes the environment. Mm -hmm. It sets the mood. Yeah, it's giving that production for your waltz and surprise dance. You know, that's like a huge highlight of a quinceañera. So if you have a you're really good, if you have a re oh, 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 cuidado. <laughs> Um, if you have a really good DJ who understands the vision of the choreographer and the quinceañera, mm -hmm. like that's gonna like take your choreography to the next level. You know, um, good lighting, a good production to it. Yeah, and then so, he also reads the guest too. Like, if you like see the MC, yeah, the yeah, MC, he, yeah. Yeah, he, he'll know, and then he also uh, know what to play. Yeah, yeah. You start seeing like, okay, they they like more of this this type of mm -hmm. you know, because there's different types. There's like cumbias, uh, whatever merengue, banda. or even like Spanish to English. Like some people. Yeah, I want think you just mix. yeah, you just need a good DJ that's gonna understand your crowd and who's mm -hmm. gonna be able to read. Cause we've been in quinceañeras that were like, why are they playing this type of music? <laughs> it's awkward. People yeah. are gonna yeah. leave early. Um, and also are falling asleep. Yeah. yeah, and also seeing their equipment. Yeah, the, what the they quality, have yeah. the quality because oh god we've been to a lot of them where like no i know i know they're starting off and all that <laughs> yeah. and they're freaking they have the bass turned yep. up all the way yep. <laughs> and your ears are just like smacking oh my god like ah. yeah you know um and you i can think definitely tell the diff, uh sound quality and differences um but like i guess that also like leads into um with the dj um it also goes to like um how would you call it the uh your vendors the people that you get yeah that's what also makes a good quinceanera because that is true if you if you i mean i know uh, everybody can afford the best but there's some people that are affordable and then they do good work like. oh my god yeah even your bartender like yeah. we've been to quinceaneras yeah. where the bartenders it's are like eh, eh, eh. Yeah. Exactly. yeah and you're like oh dame otra margarita yeah, dame exactly. otro shot you know it hacen el ambiente pero si agarras también un bartender que está Ahí muy enojado y parece que, yeah. que está a la fuerza, you know. Uh, it's not gonna set the mood, you know. Yeah, so exactly. you want a really good bartender. Um, también los meseros. If you have yeah. really good meseros who yeah. are atentes, there. Atentes. Atentos. Atentos or, yeah. yeah. Is, but, I don't know, Ruben. <laughs> We're gonna sound like oh, yo no sabo kids now. Yeah, um, uh, 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 Osito wanting so the attention. A special appearance. <laughs> Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof. <laughs> but yeah, like you said, like the meseros. Meseros yeah. having good meseros, the service. Because some of them, like, they, they look like they're angry, and I get it. Like, they're working on yep. a Saturday night. <laughs> yep. But, like, just to have you projecting that, um, like, uh, negativity, just that, that rolls off on people, too. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like, oh, damn. Yeah, I guess that. Mesero, and it's like, oh. True. So I think that um, the other one having a good choreographer. Yeah, well, that's you nice. know, obviously that's higher me. Reyes. <laughs> um, but if we're not in your state or we're or we're not in your area, you know, go look around. Wow. You know, go look at the choreographers that that look are in your work. area. Look at their work. Are they going to be able to also um, give? give you what you're looking for yeah. and at the same time be able to read the room you know i always ask the quinceañeras like i don't give them the music right mm -hmm. that that's us as a company right as reyes i let the family know de que parte son de que parte de mexico what kind of music so it's just like quinceañeras like oh i just want like hip-hop and then i'm like but your parents and your guests are all from Mexico. Yeah. Maybe let's do a huapango or like a tribal. Yeah, yeah. You know, and let's yeah. mix maybe one song. You know, giving enough suggestions. At the end of the day, si la quinceañera quiere 
puro hip hop. Was it puro hip hop, right? Like we don't force them to choose something. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, sometimes we need to like speak to them, you know, because that can hacer el ambiente. You know, if you have a really good baile sorpresa, we've been to quinceañeras. Yeah, yeah. Where like we have an amazing choreography. We, we like, for example, we finish with the zapateado and then people ya quieren bailar, se abre el ambiente. Boom, boom, boom. Um, for me, is the entertainment that you're gonna have. Well, the show that, that the yeah. show that we're projecting. Yeah, like what, that's why it's important uh, to have a good choreographer. Can I guys say show because essentially what we do is a hype small up. show, like yeah. a hype, yeah. up, hype up, the get audience. everybody ready for yeah. that. Um, so. Most definitely. Well, um, something that will make your quinceanera better is getting a good choreographer. Good choreographer that's going to be able to, like, um, choreograph something to the taste of your family, not to the choreographer's taste. Mm -hmm. That is very important. That's why I always tell the quinceaneras, here's a tip, quinceaneras, anytime you're meeting with the vendors, like, no los agarren luego, luego. Shop around. Shop around. Ask them There's questions. Lot, okay. Make sure that that vendor is going to be a good fit for, for you. you and your family and for your guest. Yeah. You know? Um, pero a veces es difícil. You know, you're in a budget and you're like, I can't afford that person. Okay. But shop around. There's some new companies out there que no cobran tanto porque apenas son nuevos. Mm-hmm. Pero their quality and their customer service is amazing. Yeah. So definitely kind of do some interviews with your yeah. vendors. Yeah, I think that no, another thing is um, location, like your, uh, your spot. Yeah. You know, that also makes a good quinceanera. Um, that's why we tell the quinceaneras, plan with time. Yes, plan with con time tiempo. Plan with time. The they might want is, won't, be available. won't be available. Well, not only that, the venue. Yeah. Like, también hay que ver the season. We went to quinceaneras, donde es outside and it's pouring. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh d- yeah. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like... He's tal friazo, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna wait for them to finish the waltz <laughs> and get out. Vale sorpresa, and bye bye. Well, that's yeah. what they do. They just, uh, everybody will just wait for the vale sorpresa, and then they start leaving because uh, they, uh, one, they have bad choice in, in time. Uh, like, the, yeah. Uh, especially here in Washington, it rains, so we only have like four months that are beautiful where you can do yeah. it. And then all everyone else that gets stuck in the rain and all this because they didn't do proper planning. So, but sometimes mm-hmm. it's hard, you know. You could do that with time, but Mother Nature yeah. will come in and be like, "I don't care." Yeah, oh, especially I'm gonna rain on that day. <laughs> especially here in Washington, it's like yeah, sometimes we, you look at the yeah. forecast; it's like sunny, and you're like, oh, yeah. "Okay, yeah. boom." Uh-huh. Like, nada. Yeah, we had a quinceañera where it was, like, I think, at the end of June or July. July. It was like sunny, and then like for two yeah. hours, it was getting cloudy, and I was like, "Oh, but does it rain?" Because it was outside. <laughs> but you know, even for us, for example, like we live in Washington, you always want to have that backup mm-hmm. of like a plan. Porque uno nunca sabe lo que va a pasar. pasar yeah. Right? Um, entonces, yo creo que ya, yeah, you need to plan ahead of time. And I think that's going to make a good quinceañera. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, I could just say, lo importante de una quinceañera es that the quinceañera and her family, like close family, yeah. mm-hmm. they're enjoying the process. Yeah. And it's tailored to them. Yeah. Because you, you're you never, and we said this like a bunch of times, you're never going to make anybody happy. No. Nope. Like, no, si no, estás... No. Uh, yeah, no. like your vecinas, your mom's best friend. No. no they're not going to... They're not going to... You're never going to make them happy. Que, que la vida estuvo muy seca y que los frijoles casi se quemaron. El vestido like, no me gustó el mucho. El vestido no me gustó. Hubiera sido este color. Or, uh, yeah. So, like, you're always going to have people hating. Yeah. yeah, so at the end of the day, what matters it's is not, that for it, the... King, as long as you like what you did and you wanted that for yourself. Yeah, correct, correct. And I think that's like the number one thing, you know, like make sure that it's to you're your happy. taste yeah. and that you're happy. Um, and making sure that um, at the end of the day, just remember that you're building a memory, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I think another thing what makes a good quinceañera, it's having a good photographer and somebody um, que te grabe. Yeah, it's like gonna yeah, capture good the good it's moments. Gonna, yes, because you're gonna always have those pictures, those mm-hmm. videos. Yeah, go, the, yeah. Go look at the quality, right? Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, después que se acabe la quinceañera, look, I'm gonna tell you something. You be planning for a year, up to two years, pero en ese día goes like that. Yeah, goes like that. Sí o no? Yeah. yeah. Next Very thing fast. you know, yeah. Next thing you know, ya son las doce de la noche, and like. like Ya se acabó. Damn, I have to clean all of this. Yeah. Hire somebody. <laughs> Hire somebody. Because si no te va a tocar después todo, todos cansados yeah. A, yeah. a limpiar y todo. Porque los del salón. And you need to be out at one. Yeah. I'm going to charge you 500 oh. bucks extra. Yeah. 
So you, that's what you have to plan ahead of time. Um, if you go for somebody to come into the cleanup, do that. Porque al último va a estar bien cansado. Um, y lo, you want to go to bed already. But it, but going back, like I was mentioning, if you have somebody que te tome buenas fotos y videos, um, then you could look back and be like, damn, my quinceañera was lit. Um, and like you, you have that good memory. True, true. I think uh, also what makes a good quinceañera, and then this is just like a general thing, um, planning. Planning, yeah. Uh, have, 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 have having everything planned because it shows that day. Oh know? yeah. Like mm -hmm. that day, there's uh, so many. You can tell that they're being rushed, or you can tell that there's things missing. Yep. So definitely planning, like planning. having everything like the timeline and agenda, yeah. what's happening. Um, it, we've been told before by other DJs, you know, uh, they're like, "Wow, you guys come with the script, you guys come with the timeline, you guys take leadership." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "That's how we do that," you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and the DJs would be like, "There's other choreographers that don't do that." You know, y luego ese día que está el coreógrafo corriendo y la quinceañera yeah. y el papá que no lo encuentran, que está en la barra, he's at the bathroom, you never know, you know, the mom or the dad, you never know, because we've seen it all. Uh -huh. um, and then if you're going to have like a ceremony, you know, donde te entregan sure la corona y las zapatillas y todo eso, making sure that they're ready and they know when to go. Mm -hmm. And do their participation, right? Um, entonces yo creo que tienes que tener either a... Uh, 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 what is it called that you do, Jasmine? Uh, coordinator. Coordinator. Day of, like, day of coordinator day of or something coordinator. like that. Somebody, like, if you're able to afford that, do that. Porque they're going to make sure that everything's very smooth you from the vendors mm -hmm. to the quinceañera of, like, what's going to happen. So then that way, like, there's no awkward gaps where everyone's like, okay, they said, like, you want to comenzar con el vals, and it's been, like, 40 minutes, <laughs> and... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awkward. Yeah. So you don't want that, right? So creating a good timeline and agenda, you know. But uh, yeah, mistakes will happen. Se van a trazar un poquito, and that's fine. But you know what's coming next. Correct. You know, you it's not going like, oh, what are we gonna do now? Oh, what are we gonna do now? Because yeah, yeah, th there's been certain events that we've gone to where, like, we come in and then they just like. Uh, they're all over the place and we're just kind of like well okay <laughs> and I'm right. waiting on them yeah. like the buzz they say is going to start at 6 and it's 8.30 and then we're on TikTok live and it was like when are you guys going to do the buzz like what oh god yeah we're yeah. waiting, <laughs> we're waiting. Yeah. people are honest on they're, TikTok y'all like, you guys said 6.30 and it's 6.32 And they're real quick to call you on it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're like, guys, we're, and a lot of the times people need to understand that we're ready, we're ready to go. Sometimes it's the family or the other vendors. Yeah. A veces que el mariachi llegó tarde, so now, like, ellos quieren tocar sus cuatro horas. Mm -hmm. So, like, we're there ready to go. And then the DJ ya le falta una hora. Mm -hmm. So you cannot start. So it's out of our control, you know? Or they're uh, waiting on other, like, people, like their guests. That they're oh, yeah, que te no llega mi madrina and stuff like yeah. that. So, pero... <laughs> Yeah, but I think that, that, that that's what will make a good quinceanera, um, like planning, having everything ready, um, the food. <laughs> the yeah, the fu <laughs> food. I think, so, yeah. Food, having everything planned, having good vendors, having the um, quinceanera actually, yeah. want you a know, quinceanera. want a quinceanera because it shows, and then your guests. Yeah, just, you know? uh, yeah. I guess, uh, I don't know if there, there's anything else that would. No, I think that's it. I, I think this was a really good topic you know of like people are in the process of um kind of starting the process yeah. of like planning. Planning. planning their quinceañera you know they're able to like hear this podcast and, and watch get it some tips from get, tips, yeah. get some tips and ideas you know um uh, but well i think it was a really good topic um yeah, if, if you guys if we missed anything they can comment yeah below. comment yeah, below was, let us know a good quinceañera, but i think we, we we went through a good amount yeah. of uh Things I don't, uh, I can't think of them off the top no, of my head. I, What else would make a good No, I, I think that's I think it. That's like the main. Uh -huh. I, I think that's the main the like main the thing. Ones, yeah. 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 Well, um, everyone, thank you for watching this podcast. Make sure to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and obviously YouTube. Um, leave a comment, give us a like, and we will see you guys in the next podcast.